too late. He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry. I'm here to save you. No! Don't, don't, don't touch it! C4! C4 will blow up along with the old man. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. And you? Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver. See if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me Revolver. what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight, but I'm just getting warmed up. You 
were lucky. We'll meet again. Who are you? Talk. Who are you? I'm not one of them. <sighs> the DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... I talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Uh, kinda like psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah. Anyway, how did they get your code? I... I never had any training on how to resist torture. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. He's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Mm, looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Uh, you're a funny guy. So, the... the DARPA chief? Is he okay? Dead. It, it can't be. No, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up. Ah. Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Oh, those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree. 
But what do they really want? Who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry. Always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. Do you still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists. Uh, no, that, that, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. Prison? That female soldier? She said that she had just joined up as a new recruit. They, they threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Oh, looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes. She stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. L let me tell you, it's... it's... Huh? Oh... Sorry. I forgot. Damn! Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the package. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? Hmm. You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? Uh, the, the team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A uh, genius in engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? Well, you'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's, it's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The nuclear threat hasn't disappeared. The threat is more real than ever before. The amount of spent nuclear fuel in plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stack this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to use it or dispose of it. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that. Several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with nowhere to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age where any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? The Russians and Chinese still pursue a policy of deterrence. Do you see? Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear? Yes. 
You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes, and after my company lost their bid to produce the U.S. Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even that bunch on the military oversight committee. Bribes. Just call it the military industrial complex. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you or your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here. This is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure that you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card, too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. You go on without me. Oh. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. Uh, that ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome... Soldier! <laughs> you know him? <laughs> you should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi? You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my, my company and I are, are finished! What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... Uh, oh, oh, oh. Huh? Oh, 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 what? What did you do to me? Uh, oh, no! Oh, oh, oh. No, it can't be! Those Pentagon bastards! So they, they, they actually went and did it! Oh. 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 What are you talking about? They, 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 they're just using you for... for oh. 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 What the hell? Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead, too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me! It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or digoxin. But we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, 
Get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes. We have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you.
boss, is this all right? Just giving him the card like that. We'll play with him a little longer. You would be wise not to underestimate him. What did you think of him? He is just as you said. He lives and breathes combat just like you. I would expect no less from your... You see, I told you so, but I will kill him. General Ivan, I hear that you lost your arm and ran away home. Watch your tongue, shaman. In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Well, snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always. Yes, the raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. Flush? Who are you? Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? Next. Snake. Hey, you're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. 
Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? Oh, I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy this moment. <laughs> What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. I've come from another world to battle with you. What is it? Revenge? It is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respite. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. <laughs> off him. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again.
the fear of battle, the clashing of bone and steel. Zanzibar. Is it over? Ninja is Grey Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You yourself, in Zanzibar land. Yes. He should have been killed, but he's still alive. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar land. And that was Grey Fox? But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I've ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, 
Why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Gray Fox after that? The record said he died in an accident. I see. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. You're saying he's just living off his will to fight? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Mm -hmm. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. How long are you gonna stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. Your uniform's different from theirs. You're the Metal Gear Rex chief engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh. So you're here to rescue me? Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh. Well, at least you're not one of them. Hmm. Are you hurt? Ah, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Liar! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped, walking deathmobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? Aren't they just trying to use the TMD missile module to launch a disabled nuclear warhead? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. I... No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know. No. All the armament was built by a separate department. And the President personally supervised the final assembly with the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but... Are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah, but that's not all, I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes. 
But you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So, this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launched that thing? No. Damn! Damn! I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. The truth is, my grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father? He was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But in the end, I was the one being used. Using science for peace? That's only an anime. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where's that? North of the communications tower. But it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too? Yeah, in the base's control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by Kodak. How am I supposed to escape from an island? <sighs> okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was gonna use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you too. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is. Over there. Oh no. Damn, they spotted me. Meryl, what happened? Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you. 
What's wrong? You get all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I, uh, just glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. Your bad luck. Forget it, Doctor. Call me Otacon. Otacon? It stands for Otaku Convention. An otaku is a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. Yeah, that's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. Sounds like an excuse to me. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has progressed because there is war. And because of scientists' greed, weapons of mass destruction were born. But that's all over. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. Okay, let's go. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting.
Ta. Do you like me? Hold me, Snake. What's wrong? Hurry. Uh, please, make love to me. Snake, Meryl's not herself. Don't use your weapon. It's Psycho Mantis. He's controlling Meryl. That tune is his mind control music. Don't use your weapon. Try to knock her out. Huh? I hope that's not your only trick. You! You doubt my power! Now, I will show you why I am the most powerful practitioner of psychokinesis and telepathy in the world! No, there's no need for words, Snake. I am... Psychomantis! That's right! This is no trick. It's true power. It's useless. I told you, I can read your every thought. You are a very methodical man. The type that always kicks his tires before he leaves. You are a highly skilled warrior. Well suited to this stealth mission. You are extremely careful of traps. You are either very cautious or you are a coward. Still don't believe me? Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. I see that you enjoy Nintendo games. You like Silicon Knights games, don't you? So, you like adventure games? Did you enjoy playing Eternal Darkness? You seem to like The Legend of Zelda, don't you? You like action games? You've been playing Super Mario Sunshine, haven't you? Oh, so you've played Super Smash Bros. Melee before. You have not saved very often. You are somewhat reckless. I can read you like an open book. You still don't believe me? I will show you my psychokinetic power. Put your controller on the floor. Put it down as flat as you can. That's good. Now, I will move your controller by the power of my will alone.
is going to be okay. Thanks, Snake. I owe you one. Now that Mantis is beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off. Right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake? Or maybe it's because you like her? I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people. But that does not mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. He makes his own. <laughs> Perhaps so, but I will read your future. To get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base, you have to go through the hidden door. There's a hidden door behind the bookcase. <sighs> the Overland Route. It's blocked by frozen glaciers. Go past the communication towers, then use the tower's walkway. Why are you telling me this? I can read people's minds. In my lifetime, 
I have read the pasts, presents, and futures of thousands upon thousands of men and women. <gasps> oh, gross. <clears throat> and each mind that I peered into was stuffed with the same single object of obsession. That selfish and that atavistic desire to pass on one seed. It was enough to make me sick. Every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA. We're designed that way. And that is why there is war. But you are different. You're the same as us. We have no past, no future. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth, and he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> we are truly the same, you and I. The world is a more interesting place with people like you in it. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. I just want an excuse to kill as many people as I could. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. I've seen true evil, Snake. Seeing you calms my soul. You're like the boss. No, worse. Compared to you, I'm like a saint. I read her mind as well. Merrill's. I saw you there. You have a large place in her heart. A large place. And getting bigger. But I do not know if your futures lie together. I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Like this, other people's thoughts force their way into my mind. Before I die, I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world.
Let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry. Meryl. How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're going to doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. You're right. Don't regret your past. Learn from it. Regrets just make a person weaker. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Snake, can I ask you something? More complaints? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering... What? What's the problem now? Oh, no. Nothing. So tell me, Snake, what's your name? Your real name? A name means nothing on the battlefield. After a week, no one has a name. How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone, just like Mantis said. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on, let's go. Meryl.
Meryl! Colonel? Damn! Snake! It's a trap! A sniper's trick to lure you out! The sniper's waiting for you to go to help Meryl so he can pick you off! Don't do it! It must be Sniper Wolf, Foxhound's best shooter. Snipers usually work in pairs, but this one's alone, huh? I know her. She can wait for hours, days, or weeks. Doesn't matter to her. She's just watching and waiting for you to expose yourself. Maybe so, but Meryl can't hold out that long. Snake, can you see Wolf from where you are? There's nowhere to hide between here and the tower. She must be on the second floor of the tower. If Wolf is in the communications tower, she can see you perfectly. It's a classic sniper's position. At that distance, you won't be able to hit her with a standard weapon either. You'll need a sniper rifle. Colonel, take it easy. I'm going to save Meryl, no matter what it takes. Okay. Thanks. What's wrong, Naomi? Don't you know? There's a tendency toward murder written in your very genes. So saving someone else's skin is out of the question? I wouldn't go that far, but... I don't know what the hell my genes look like, and I don't care. I operate on instinct. Like an animal? I'm going to save Meryl. I don't need an excuse. Okay. And I'm not doing it for someone else, either. I'm going to save Meryl for myself. Colonel, don't worry. Snake, thanks. I understand. I'm sorry. Sniper Wolf is Foxhound's best sharpshooter. Everyone knows that women have more patience than men, but Sniper Wolf can go for a whole week with no sleep, no food. Her sights never straying from her target. And on top of that, she takes Pentazamine so her hands never tremble. Stay out of her range and shoot at her with a sniper rifle. Yeah, but where can I find a sniper rifle? I can't ask Meryl. What about Dr. Emmerich? He's been on the base for a while, he might know. Otacon, have you ever seen a sniper rifle anywhere on this base? A sniper rifle? Meryl's been shot by an extremely good sniper. Sniper? A high quality sniper rifle is the only way I can fight back. I... I saw one in the armory in the second floor basement of the tank hangar. The second floor basement of the tank hangar? I have to go all the way back there. Well... Yeah. What's wrong with you, Otacon? Oh, nothing. Snake, what the hell? Are you trying to kill Meryl? Have you gone insane?
It's hard to miss when you're this close. Toss your weapon over here. Slowly. You're a fool to come back here. Stupid man. A lady sniper, huh? Don't you know that the majority of the world's great assassins are women? Do you want to die now? Or after your female friend? Which will it be? I'll die after I kill you. <laughs> Is that right? Well, at least you've got spirit. I am Sniper Wolf, and I always kill what I aim at. You are my special prey. Got it? I've left my mark on you. I won't forget it. Until I kill you, you're all I'll think about. Take him away! Don't kill him yet. I want him alive. Leave it to me. I want no more accidents like that DARPA chief. Yes, he's my target. Mine alone. You get past here! Liquid? You're not going any farther! Die! It's a long way down. If only I had a rope. I should be able to use that rope I got. What are you going to do? Take on a hide with your bare hands? If I stay here, I'm finished.
how to repel. Shoot! It's me, don't shoot! It's me, Snake. Otacon, how'd you get here? Well, it wasn't as dramatic as your entrance, believe me. I'm afraid of heights. You were watching? Yeah, I was watching. I was riding in the back of their truck, thanks to the stealth camouflage. How did you get up here? The elevator, of course. The first floor of the circular staircase was destroyed. That's why I took the elevator. The elevator was working? Yeah, that's right. You're incredible. Like a movie hero or something. No, you're wrong. In the movies, the hero always saves the girl. You mean Meryl? Sorry, forget I said anything. Snake, there's something I've really got to ask you. It's why I followed you up this far. Have you ever... loved someone? That's what you came to ask? No, I mean... I... I was wondering if even soldiers fall in love. What are you trying to say? Do you think love can bloom... even on a battlefield? Yeah. I do. I think at any time, any place, people can fall in love with each other. But if you love someone, you have to be able to protect them. I think so too. I have a favor to ask. Uh-oh. Don't worry, it'll be easy. Um, I told you before, I won't hurt anyone. 
I don't want you to. Okay. The elevator is stopped down there. I want you to get it to move. You see? That's weird. It was working before, but now it isn't. Maybe the panel's broken. Can you fix it? It was working before. If it's the mechanism, leave it to me. I've got to go and swat a noisy fly. Okay. I'll stay here and hold the fort. Good luck. You really look like hell. Are you okay? Don't worry. If I do this, it doesn't matter. I just pretend like I'm not here. And then I'm not scared. Strange logic. I'm counting on you. come out of his hole. Are you ready now, my brother? Why are you calling me brother? Who the hell are you? I'm you. I'm your shadow. What? Ask the father that you killed. I'll send you to hell to meet him. <laughs>
down! Eat this! Snake, are you okay? Otacon, were there any other stealth prototypes? No, there were only five. So, this isn't stealth camouflage then. What are you talking about? Someone's shooting at me in the middle of this blizzard. <gasps> it's her! Wolf? Sniper Wolf? Yes, it's her. It's definitely her. Otacon, you sound like you're happy. No, I'm not. So then what is it? Snake, please don't kill her. Are you insane? Please. She's a good person. You'd know that if you talked to her. That woman isn't as sweet as you think. I can see you perfectly from here. <laughs> I told you, I'd never quit the hunt. Now you're mine. Wolf! No, you can't! Don't get between a wolf and its prey. You're pretty good if you can hit me in this storm. You see? Women naturally make better soldiers. Wolf, don't do this! Snake, I'm near. Can't you sense me near you? It's a mistake for a sniper to reveal her location. You think so? Well, a message from me is a message from death. If I'm close, you will know death is close. Please, Wolf! Snake! No! Quiet! Don't get in our way! Now I'll pay you back for Meryl. You men are so weak. You can never finish what you start.
waited for this moment. I am a sniper. Waiting is my job. Never moving a muscle. Concentrating. <coughs> I am long shot. You cannot save me. Please, just finish me quick. I am a Kurd. I have always dreamed of a peaceful place like this. A Kurd? So that's why you're called Wolf. I was born on a battlefield. Raised on a battlefield. Gunfire, sirens and screams. They were my lullabies. Hunted like dogs day after day. Driven from our ragged shelters. That was my life. Each morning I'd wake up and find a few more of my family or friends dead beside me. I'd stare at the morning sun and pray to make it through the day. The governments of the world turned a blind eye to our misery. But then, he appeared. My hero, Saladin. He took me away from all that. Saladin? You mean Big Boss? I became a sniper. Hidden. Watching everything through a rifle scope. Now I could see war not from the inside, but from the outside, as an observer. I watched the brutality the stupidity of mankind through the scope of my rifle. I joined this group of revolutionaries to take my revenge on the world. But I have shamed myself and my people. I am no longer the wolf I was born to be. In the name of vengeance, I sold my body and my soul. Now, I am nothing more than a dog. Wolves are noble animals. They're not like dogs. In Yupik, the word for wolf is Keglanek, and the Aleuts revere them as honorable cousins. They call mercenaries like us dogs of war. It's true, we're all for sale for some price or another. But you're different, untamed, solitary. You're no dog. You're a wolf. Who are you? Are you Saladin? Wolf, you spared Meryl's life. Even when I'm just an onlooker, I don't like to see women or children get hurt. Rest easy. You'll die as the proud wolf you are. I finally understand. I wasn't waiting to kill people. I was waiting for someone to kill me. A man like you. You're a hero. Please, set me free. Why? Why? I loved you. What is it? My gun. Give it to me. She is part of me. If 
Everyone is here now. Okay, hero. Set me free. Goodbye. Snake, you said that love could bloom on a battlefield. But I couldn't save her. What are you doing? Returning it to its owner. I don't need a handkerchief. Why? I don't have any more tears to shed. <laughs> have to protect yourself now. Don't trust anyone. Yeah. If I can't stop Metal Gear, this whole place will be bombed to hell. Yeah. We might not meet again. Don't lose the codec. I'll be behind you all the way. You can leave any time. Get a head start. A head start on your new life. Snake! What was she fighting for? What am I fighting for? What are you fighting for? If we make it through this, I'll tell you. Okay. I'll be searching too. This is the end of the road for you, right my friends? They're becoming excited. How dare you kill my friends? Ravens aren't scavengers like most people think. They're simply returning to the natural world, that which is no longer needed. Sometimes, they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank? 
Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> but that was no true battle. <laughs> the ravens and I were testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided. The ravens say you are a true warrior. Am I hallucinating? I... I can't move! The raven has put the mark of death upon you. Blood from the east flows within your veins. Ah, your ancestors too were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. There's no crows in my family tree. You ready? I am not fond of snakes, but you are family, so I cannot complain. But there will be no holding back. You live in Alaska, too. You know of the World Eskimo Indian Olympics. With that strength, you must have been training in the stick pull and four-man carry. Yes, you are right. But there is another event that I excel at. It is called the Ear Pull. It's an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. You want to pull each other's ears? The form is different, but the spirit is the same. Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious. It's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we will see if there is iron in your words.
Just as the boss said. It is my existence which is no longer needed in this world. But my body will not remain in this place. My spirit and my flesh will become one with the ravens. In that way, I will return to Mother Earth who bore me. Snake! I will be watching you. Understand? <laughs> Snake, take this security card. It will open that door. Why? You are a snake which was not created by nature. You and the boss, you are from another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go and do battle with him. I will be watching from above. First, I'll give you a hint. The man you saw die before your eyes. That was not the DARPA chief. It was Decoy Octopus, a member of Foxhound. He was a master of disguise. He copied his subjects down to the blood, so he drained the chief's blood and took it into himself. But he wasn't able to deceive the Angel of Death. The Angel of Death? But why go to so much trouble? Why impersonate the chief? <laughs> that is the end of my hint. You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. an end to it, but you are different. What are you trying to say? The path you walk on has no end. No matter how far you go, or how many corpses you crawl over, the killing will never end. It's a future without hope. Hear me, Snake! My spirit will be watching you.
Liquid! Snake, did you like my sunglasses? Oh, you'd point a weapon at your own brother? Why did you disguise yourself as master? So I could manipulate you more easily. You performed quite well, I must say. <sighs> Although the boys at the Pentagon are probably saying the same thing. What the hell are you talking about? Following orders blindly, with no questions asked, you've lost your warrior's pride and become nothing more than a pawn, Snake. What? Stopping the nuclear launch? Rescuing the hostages? It was all just a diversion. A diversion? The Pentagon only needed you to come into contact with us. That's what killed the arms tech president and decoy octopus. You don't mean... That's right. You were sent here to kill us, so they could retrieve Metal Gear undamaged along with bodies of the genome soldiers. From the beginning, the Pentagon was just using you as a vector to spread Fox Die. Fox Die? It can't be! Are you telling me Naomi was working with the Pentagon? They thought she was, but it seems that Dr. Naomi Hunter couldn't be controlled so easily. What? We've got a spy working in the Pentagon. He reported that Dr. Hunter altered Fox Dye's program just before the operation, but no one knows how or why. I wonder. Maybe they arrested her so they could find out the answer to that. No doubt. But I had no idea she was motivated by such petty revenge. We still don't know what changes she made to Fox Dye's program. Oh well, doesn't matter. I've already added the Fox Dye vaccine to my list of White House demands. There's a vaccine? There must be. But that woman is the only one who really knows. Anyway, it might prove to be unnecessary. Yeah, why is that? You were successful in coming into contact with all of us, so we must have all been exposed to the virus. It's true that the arms tech president and decoy octopus were killed by Fox Dye. But Ocelot, myself, and you, the carrier, were apparently unaffected. A bug in the virus's programming? Hmm. Could be. In any case, if it doesn't kill you, then I'm not worried either. After all, our genetic code is identical. So it's true. You and I are... Yes, twins. But we're not ordinary twins. We're twins linked by cursed genes. Les enfants terribles! You're fine. You got all of the old man's dominant genes. I got all the flawed, recessive genes. Everything was done so that you would be the greatest of his children. The only reason I exist is so they could create you. So you're saying I'm the dominant one? That's right. I'm just the leftovers of what they used to make you. Can you understand what it's like to know that you're garbage since the day you were born? <laughs> but I'm the one Father chose. So that's why you're so obsessed with Big Boss. Some warped kind of love. Ha! Love? It's hate. His choosing me, knowingly, to be the inferior one? For this, I want revenge! You don't even understand this! You, who could kill your own real father! You stole my chance for revenge! Now I'll finish the work that father began! I will surpass him! I will destroy him! You're just like Naomi. Well, I'm not like you! Unlike you, I'm proud of the destiny that is encoded into my very genes.
You missed your last chance. You'll regret that forever. Damn. Snake!
want from me? I'm a prisoner of death. Only you can free me. Fox, stay out of this. What about Naomi? She's hell-bent on taking revenge for you. Naomi... You're the only one who can stop her. No, I can't. Why? Because I'm the one who killed her parents. I was young then, and couldn't bring myself to kill her too. Oh, I felt so bad that I decided to take her with me. I raised her like she was my own blood to soothe my guilty conscience. Even now, she thinks of me as her brother. Fox. Outwardly, we may have seemed like contented brother and sister, but every time I looked into her eyes, I trembled with fear. Tell her for me. Tell her that I was the one who did it. Here's a final present from Deep Throat. I'll stop it from moving. Fox! Codename Fox, but now you're finished! Now, fire the stinger! Fox! Can you really shoot? You'll kill him too! Now, in front of you, it's no I good. Can finally I can't die. do it. It's no good. I can't do it. After Sands of Our Land. I was taken from the battle, neither truly alive, nor truly dead. An undying shadow in a world of light. But soon, soon it will finally end. Fox! 
snake! We're not tools of the government or anyone else. Fighting was the only thing, the only thing I was good at. But at least, uh, I always fought for what I believed in. Snake! When death is entreated, the battle is decided. You see, you can't protect anyone, not even yourself. Crush you into dust! this before the airstrike. You stole everything from me. I shall nullify you and your genes, and I will take them all back. She'll make a beautiful sacrifice for our final battle. Do you see this? This will be the time limit for our final battle. When death comes for this girl, this nuclear module shall vanish from this world as well. If you win, you might still be able to save her. You could enjoy one brief moment of love before the end. An 
if you cross this line, you'll fall. At this height, it'll kill even you. Have at you, snake! Snake? Is that you? Snake, you're alive. Thank God. Meryl. Meryl, are you okay? Are you okay? Is that all you can say? Meryl, you must have been terrible. It wasn't that bad. I didn't give in to the torture. Torture? And things even worse than that. I was fighting too. Just like you. You're a strong woman. 
Fighting them made me feel closer to you. I felt like you were there with me. It gave me the strength to go on. But I was scared. I'm sorry. Don't say that. But it made me realize something. During all the pain and shame, there was one thing I was sure of. A single hope that I held on to. And that hope kept me alive. <gasps> Snake, I wanted to see you again. Meryl. Snake, it's me. It looks like you stopped Rex. Otacon, good news. Meryl's okay. All right! You saved her, man! Good job! I got some bad news, too. We're about to be bombed. Oh, boy. I guess we're considered expendable. Is there a way out of here? A way out? Uh, yeah. You can take the loading tunnel to the surface. There's a parking garage right next to you. The tunnel leads from there to the surface. The door in front? No, it's a small entrance to the west of that door. How about the security? I just unlocked it. Who do you think you're talking to? I'll take care of security along your escape route, too. What are you going to do? Me? I... I'll stay here. Are you crazy? I need a little more time to take care of your escape route. But... Unlocking the security doors is difficult work. Only I can do it. Otacon... Don't worry. I'm staying here. It's my own decision. Otacon, this is a hardened shelter, but they're going to use a surface-piercing nuclear bomb. It won't hold. I'm through regretting the past. Life isn't all about loss, you know? Snake, I'm a complete person now. I've found a reason to live. Good. Don't die on me. Same to you. Take care of Meryl, okay? I will. Okay, I gotta go. I promise I'll do something about your escape route. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, that sounds nice. I believe in you. Thanks, Snake. Let's get the hell out of here. What about him? Where is Otacon? He's fighting right now, with his old self, to be the man he wants to be. He's fighting for us too? Yeah, and I don't want it to be in vain. Me too. Snake. Meryl. It started. I must be heavy. Looks like we're not gonna have a love scene after all. Looks that way. Too bad. Let's get out of here. Snake, it's freezing outside. You need some clothes. Hmm. There's 
my sneaking suit. Hurry up! Hurry! Good snake.
Are you okay? If he's dead, that means... Don't say it, Snake. What happened to the air raid? No stealth bombers in sight. Snake, can you hear me? Colonel! Are you okay? Colonel, what happened? The Secretary of Defense has been arrested. Early retirement. Arrested? I was able to get into contact with the President. Metal Gear, the training exercise, all of it. It was all the Secretary of Defense acting alone. Acting alone? What happened to the air raid and the nuclear strike? The orders were rescinded. The F-117s and the B-2 bombers have returned to the base. Once again, I have complete authority over this operation. I see. Washington isn't stupid enough to use nukes to cover up a few secrets. I wonder about that. In any case, the danger's over. Thanks, Snake. Colonel, you can rest easy. Merrill's fine. Really? Thanks. Thank you, Snake. Snake, I'm sorry I kept a lot of things from you. It's okay, Colonel. Snake, I'm not a Colonel. Oh, that's right. I've got a present for you. There's a snowmobile close to you. Mei Ling saw it on the satellite photos. This time of year, the glaciers are pretty calm. You should be able to ride right out of there. I'll bet the boys at the DIA and the NSA never expected you to come home alive. Me neither. I'd better not show my face around there. No danger of that. You two officially died after your jeep sank into the ocean. Mm, that's not too far from the truth. There's also a helicopter waiting for you at the Fox Islands. Dr. Hal Emmerich should be somewhere on the base. I want someone to bring him in. I understand. Leave it to me. Okay. Roy. Are you going to be okay? Don't worry. I've got an insurance policy, a hard copy of all of Mei Ling's data. As long as I've got that, you, me, and Mei Ling will be fine. The battery on these nanomachines will run out soon. They won't be able to follow us. I guess we won't meet again. Don't worry. I'll pay you a visit sometime. Really? I'll look forward to that. Roy, just tell me one thing. What? About Fox Dye. Meryl will be fine. She wasn't included in its programming. What about me? It killed Liquid. 
Naomi said she wants to talk to you face to face about that. How is she? Don't worry. Mailing's with her right now. I'm switching over to Naomi. Snake, it's me. Naomi? I heard about my brother. Ah. Uh, Fox, no. Frank wanted to tell you something. He told me to tell you to forget about him and to go on with your own life. Frankie said that? Yeah. He also said he'll always love you. Naomi, your brother just saved you, me, and the whole world. He fought on sheer willpower until the very end. Maybe... Maybe now he's finally found some peace. My brother was already dying. Ever since he fought with you in Zanzibar land, he's been like a ghost. A ghost looking for a place to die. <laughs> Naomi, Liquid died from Fox Eye too. What about me? When am I going to go? <laughs> That's up to you. What do you mean? Everybody dies when their time's up. Yeah, so when's mine up? It's up to you how you use the time left to you. Live, Snake. That's all I can say to you. Each person is born with their fate written into their own genetic code, inscribed into their genes. But that's not all there is to life. I finally realized that. I told you before, the reason that I was interested in genes and DNA. Because I wanted to know who I was, where I came from. I thought that if I analyzed my DNA, I could find out who I was, who my parents were. And I thought that if I knew that, then I'd know what path I should take in life. But I was wrong. I didn't find anything. I didn't learn anything. Just like with the genome soldiers, you can input all the genetic information, but that doesn't make them into the strongest soldiers. The most we can say about DNA is that its genetic information houses a person's strengths or destiny. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. Snake, whether you've been programmed or not isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life. And then live. Don't you think, Snake? Don't worry. I'm gonna choose life too. Until today, I've always looked for a reason to live. But from now on, I'm going to just live. Genes exist to pass down our hopes and dreams for the future through our children. Living is a link to what will come. All life is tethered to the future. Loving each other, teaching each new generation, then the world can change. I finally realized it, the true meaning of life. Thank you, Snake. Look, I found this. Let's keep it as a reminder. Of what? A reminder of a successful mission? Or a reminder of the first time we met? A reminder of how to live. Huh? Until today, I've lived only for myself. My survival instinct that tells me not to die. That's all the motive I've had in my life. That's not just you. That's how everyone is. I only felt truly alive when I was staring death in the face. I don't know. Maybe it's written into my genes.
What about now? What do your genes say about your future now? Maybe it's time I live for someone else. Someone else? Yeah. Someone like you. Maybe that's the real way to live. So, where to, Snake? David. My name is David. <laughs> okay, so where to, Dave? Hmm. I think it's time we look for a new path in life. A new path? A new purpose. Will we find it? We'll find it. I know we'll find it. Hey, what are those? Caribou. To the illusions, the caribou is a symbol of life. It'll be spring here soon. For us too. Yeah. Spring brings new life to everything. It's a time for hope. I've lived here a long time, but Alaska has never looked more beautiful. The sky, the sea, the caribou, and most of all, you. It's nice, isn't it? Being alive. Come on. Let's enjoy life. <laughs> You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. Snake, whether you've been programmed or not isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life, and then live. Yes, sir. The entire unit was wiped out. Yes. Yes, sir. Thanks to the vaccine. Yes, those two are still alive. The vector? Yes, sir. Fox die should become activated soon. Right on schedule. Yes, sir. I recovered all of Rex's dummy warhead data. No, there are no other records. They've all been deleted from the base's computer. No, sir. My cover is intact. Nobody knows who I really am. Yes, the DARPA chief knew my identity, but he's been disposed of. Yes. Yes. Liquid is dead. The inferior one was the winner after all. That's right. Until the very end, Liquid thought he was the inferior one. Of course, the other one thinks so, too. Yes, sir. I agree completely. It takes a well-balanced individual such as yourself to rule the world. Yes. Yes, sir. No, sir. No one knows that you were the third one. Solidus. What should I do about the woman? Yes, sir. I understand. The surveillance will continue. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. President.